Hey guys, this is Mike Blackburn with Add-ons. Today we're going to be showing you how to build a rate sheet. Now rate sheets are going to be used for either hourly pricing or per mileage pricing. And that's going to be for anything that doesn't match to a zone to zone rate. You can use rate sheets for special events. So you can have a prom rate sheet or a wedding rate sheet or a high season rate sheet or a weekend rate sheet, whatever you can imagine. Right now, we're going to start out with a default rate sheet, which is what you're going to need to begin with here. Um, from there, you can copy these rate sheets and mark them up and rename them. You want to be really specific on your names. That way, if you wind up with 150 rate sheets, you know which is which. So right here, we've got hours. This is our simple view. This is going to be price per hour with a minimum number of hours. So if you put in $90 per hour with a minimum of two hours, this is going to be $180 for your anything under two hours. And then beyond that, it's going to be $90 per hour. We do have some more advanced pricing here. Progressive, flat, hourly, fixed. So here, progressive would take a range and add them all together. So if we say above zero, you know, it's going to be 90, and then above 1 is going to be 80. So this is going to take our first hour 90, and our second hour is going to be $80. And you can keep on adding these and adding these and adding these. And it will take whatever your total is and add all of these together. You also have flat rate pricing. So flat rate pricing uh, will take the 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 range of hours that is found and apply that per hour dollar amount to all of the hours. So for example, if you have three hours set at $70 per hour, it's gonna take $70 per hour and apply it to all three hours. Now fixed pricing. Fixed pricing is gonna take whatever the amount of hours is found in that trip and apply that total. So in this case, if I say anything beyond, you know, one and three is going to be a hundred dollars total, then it's going to charge them a flat rate, hundred dollars total for those hours. Anything in the one to, you know, zero to one is going to be ninety dollars total. Here, you know, this could be three hundred or three hundred and fifty dollars for anything three to four hours. That would be $350 total. So from here, we're gonna go over to fixed rates. Once you figure out your per hour pricing, you'd hit save, and then we're gonna address all your fixed pricing. Base amount. Base amount is gonna be a dollar amount that you can charge to turn on the vehicle, basically. So any base amount that you put in here is going to be added to your per hour or per mile rate. So $75 here is going to be added to your per hour calculation. You can choose to use this. You don't have to. It's totally up to you. Price minimum. This is going to be the minimum you're going to allow this car to go out for. So if I put in $300 minimum and your hourly equation somehow comes out to $250, it's going to raise that up to $300. Parking fees, wait times, fuel surcharge, those are all really self-explanatory. We can use full dollar amounts or we can use a percentage. Service fees, again, if you don't have any of these, you don't want to charge them, you don't have to put them in. Um, deposit amounts, we can push this deposit amount into Limo Anywhere and we can also expose it to the passenger as they're doing their booking to let them know that this is your deposit amount for that rate sheet. Since we're doing an hourly rate sheet here, your pricing type override should be set to per hour as well. So from here, once you get all your fixed rates done, you're gonna go over to legs. And legs, this is a kind of a new concept for some of you. Um, uh, this is going to help compensate for deadhead mileage. So if you have a, a, a trip that you want to charge from garage to garage, you would click 
price to start from pickup and price to start from drop off. And we're going to include zero minutes here and zero minutes here. So this is going to charge from garage to garage. And you can say my starting location is headquarters for this. If your headquarters is out in the sticks and you want to start pricing from city center or something like that, you can also choose to do a custom location. If you're selling in another market, you know, if you're based in Washington, D.C. and you want to build rate sheets for New York, you might want to start custom location in, I don't know, Manhattan or something like that for that rate sheet. Now, if you want to include a certain number of minutes for travel time, you can do that here. So we can say, I'm going to include 30 minutes from my garage, but anything from that to pick up, I'm going to start charging. And we can do the same thing for drop-offs. So we would always want to include stops in your distance pricing. That way, if you have a pickup at DCA and a drop-off at DCA, but you're going to stop in Atlantic City on the way, we're going to still include that stop in your distance pricing. So again here, we're going to start with 30 minutes of free travel time to pick up anything beyond that. We're going to start the hourly clock or the per mile clock if you're using this for miles. And the same thing with drop off. This is so you don't have a one way into the middle of nowhere and not be able to get compensated for it. So if you're doing a per mileage rate sheet, everything that I just went through for hours is going to be changed or is going to apply for per miles. So you would want to create a new rate sheet, name this mileage, and then use your mileage rate, fix your fixed pricing, and then for your legs, since this is a per mileage rate sheet, we want to include a certain number of miles here and miles here. So you're also, we have the ability to charge a flat rate for travel time. So if you want to charge less, for your travel time on your deadheads, you can fill this in. I can say, I'm gonna charge from garage to garage, but I'm gonna charge 99 cents per mile versus, uh, I don't know, the maybe $2 per mile when I have a customer in the car. So I can say 99 cents per mile, or I'm gonna charge my, my hour or per mileage rate that's defined in your rate sheet over here. So that, that is how you make a rate sheet. You're going to want to create this rate sheet. And then from here, once you have this rate sheet done for your sedan, again, I suggest starting out on your most basic. After you get all your stuff honed in, you're going to want to hit copy. Now, you probably can just rename this for your SUV and change your mileage or change your per hour rates here. And then hit update. And then you've got an SUV rate sheet. So you can copy it again, mark it up for prom, and then you'll have a prom rate sheet. So we'll go over on how to apply these later, but I did want to show you how to build a basic default rate sheet. I hope you guys have good luck getting through this, and please let us know if you have any problems, questions, anything at all. You can always reach us. Thank you.